students, so we are in week two, and I just wanted to give you a video on how to complete the chapter four homework for this week or whenever you're assigned to do it. So if you notice here, chapter four, uh, hardware and apps, there's gonna be a file that you can right click, save as, I'm gonna just save it out to my desktop here. I'll say save, and it will download. Once it downloads, you can come in, and it'll open up in Microsoft Word. You want to make sure that you follow the instructions here in regards to how to name that file. Let me close this other Word document I was playing with. Make sure you follow on how to name the file. You're going to call it email. You're going to call it your first initial, your last name, computer hardware. So the first thing I would do with this is click a file, save as. You could have also done this when you download it. Here it is. I'm going to just put that again on my desktop. So I need to put first initial, last name into the file. I'm gonna just take off the software, or you can leave the software and just put the template. Whatever the assignment says, make sure you check because if this is another instructor teaching it, they might want you to save this a little differently, so make sure you check the text. At that point, we say okay, and we have the file. You'll put your first name in here, and then you'll complete the assignment. So on this assignment, you can read the instructions, but basically using Google Images, give you a great start here. Find pictures for each of the components or software listed in the template. Find the best picture on the web. Size the picture uh, to about one to two inches wide and crop the image as necessary to focus on the specific component indicated. In your own words, describe the per uh, function purpose of the component and or software don't copy uh, from your book or the web. Instead, imagine someone has asked you, what does that component or software do? What is that component for? Or is it primary or secondary storage? And how would you answer that? So let me give you an example. Here is what you're gonna do with that wonderful template. You're gonna come out here. The first thing is QWERTY keyboard. So I'm gonna open up Google, a Google search, and I'm gonna type in QWERTY, which should be easy to spell, although I always have a challenge with getting those fingers over there. QWERTY keyboard, so there it is. I'll click that. I'm gonna go to images, and I'm gonna find something that represents a good QWERTY keyboard. Here it is. Now from here, I can either use the snipping tool or I can right click and copy the image. Now, if you're wondering what the snipping tool is, there's another video right in this assignment that explains it. I'm gonna come back here to Microsoft Word and I am gonna paste in that picture that I just took. Now, if you notice, that is absolutely huge. Better not leave it that big or I'm gonna have a real hard time having area in which to give the definition. So there's a good picture, that's big enough. So now you would tell me what a QWERTY keyboard is. Well, a QWERTY keyboard is the primary input device within computers today. Could go on to say it is, there we go. It can be a touch screen, it can be an on-screen keyboard, it can be a wired or wireless keyboard. The reason it's called a QWERTY is the first five keys. I'm not looking for the history here, folks, just a little bit about the assignment. Now, let me just clue in on a couple things. If the term I've given you is a storage device, you're required to list if it's primary or secondary storage. I'm gonna have explained this in the lecture, so make sure you listen to the lecture very closely. Hint, there's only one pr uh, primary storage in a computer. Secondary storage, what kind of media is? Is it magnetic media? Is it digital? Is it flash, etc.? And what are the common capacities? So today, if we were talking about a micro SD card, we'd probably say, well, they're pretty common in 32 gig, 64 gig, 128, and even 256, those kind of things. Um, on ports, you're required to list uh, if their, their current data transfer speed. So if I've asked you about a USB port, for example, or a Thunderbolt port like here, you would wanna tell me what its current transfer speed is what it can be used for. Example, a Thunderbolt port can be used for a lot of different things, not just for data transfer, so keep that in mind. And then down here, you're gonna tell me about some software. In providing software examples, you will need to define what function of the software listed is 
So what's, what's the function of word processing? What do we do with that software? Who might use it? And provide at least two examples of companies that provide this type of software. So for example, for word processing, well, clearly I'll say ding, 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 Microsoft Word. But is there another one? There is, I could say Google Docs. So there are two. For the picture here, what you'd wanna do is just come out again to Google and you know, look for a box cover or whatever. Like if I go out here to here and I go Word. Well, first of all, Word may not work. That might not be enough. But if I say Microsoft Word and I go to images, well, here's some logos for Word. So like there's the logo. Right click, copy that, put it in your document. You're good to go. Folks, that's how you complete the assignment for chapter four. Let me know if you still have questions. Take care.